friend of the show, Ro Khanna, is uh, really revealing himself to be a complete phony, lying, willing tool of the military industrial complex, and he's willing to gaslight you to do it. Uh, here's what he used to tweet. He tweeted this on in May 5th, 2018. Ever since the Orange Revolution began under President Bush, the U.S. has been complicit in the rehabilitation and spread of neo-Nazis in Ukraine. That's what Ro Khanna used to say. Enough is enough. Our government must stand up to the Azov Battalion and other fascist groups. That's what he used to say. Now this is what he said. In class Americans should pay more to escalate the cost against Russia? No, I, 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 I think we need to ban the oil from Russia and we need to reduce gas prices in this country. And the real way we reduce gas prices uh, is to say to the big oil companies, you can't be making billions of profits while gouging people at the pump. I mean, prices are already going up massively because of the sanctions, uh, inflation's going up, and that's all to fight Russia. I mean, that's the message Biden and his people are sending. Don't you think, I mean, well, don't, don't, well, do, do you think Americans, is, what, 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 what skin in the game do Americans have for Ukraine? Americans have the skin in the game to stand up for freedom, to stand up for human <laughs> yeah. rights. We've always done that as a nation. And oh, uh, and then they're and they're taking the watch when he's keep going. Okay. We want to make sure that uh, we stand up for Europe and, and, and NATO. We stand up to bullies. I mean, people see on television Putin Sorry. killing uh, s children, killing mothers. I mean, it's horrible. I mean, that they went onto the ships and they grabbed the babies out of the um, the incubators and they threw them on the floor. And that's why we got to go into Kuwait. Freedom isn't free. Freedom isn't free, you guys. Babies. See, he sounds like Dick Cheney. He sounds like George Bush. He sounds like every liar who ever lied us into a war. Even if you knew nothing about any of it, which most people don't, how do you, after the last 20 years, even begin to run your mouth about we stand up for free? How, like, how do you even do that if you <laughs> just knew about none of the stuff that they're not telling you, just the stuff that you yeah. know about? Bro, How's when, that possible? Bro, when, what, so what Kurt is saying, bro, when the fuck has the United States ever stood up for freedom anywhere? When? Point to it. When, since World War II, when the fuck? Not even Duck Duck Goose will stand up for <laughs> freedom. <laughs> so you remember what he used to say? He used to say that we shouldn't, we, sh we shouldn't be rehabilitating the spread of neo-Nazis in Ukraine and our government must stand up to the Azov Battalion. Now he's saying we have to... We have to give them arms and fight them, and we should be for this. Because we're saving old lady, mothers, and babies. And how do you, how do you help them? You fund neo-Nazis, according to him. And now he says this. The far left's refusal to condemn the immoral and illegal Putin invasion is appalling. It is a nihilistic relativism. I stand by my words in this exchange and reject Max Blumenthal and RT talking points where he's a contributor. I have a human rights and progressive approach to sure. foreign policy. That's what he says. So what he's doing, I don't know if you notice that, what he's doing there, but he's doing the sleaziest thing you can do. He is now taking a journalist who's doing journalism and smearing them and red baiting them and McCarthy smearing them. That's what he's doing. So, you know, remember Senator McCarthy? Well, that's what Ro Khanna just did. So now Ro Khanna's letting you know, if you didn't know already, that he's a complete piece of shit. And he can't be trusted, and he's going to lie to you. And he's using progressive politics as a head fake so he can run for fucking president. That's what this is about. And he's willing to do that. What a garbage politician he turned out to be. Ro Khanna is a garbage politician. And if you don't think so, then you probably voted for Joe Biden and feel good about it. I mean, the refusal to condemn. Remember when uh, OJ came out after the police, after uh, George Floyd goes, one of these people going to be held accountable for their, <laughs> for their murders. <laughs> That's the. <laughs> so here's what he's just remember what he said. The U S has been complicit in the rehabilitation and spread of neo-Nazis. Our government must stand up to the Azov Battalion. And now if you do that, he calls you a Russian. That's what he's doing. He calls you a Russian. 
You're spreading Russian propaganda. You're a Russian. What a garbage politician. And I know some of the interns who work where I used to. Or my old producer was friends with the people inside his office. And they were constantly disappointed with him, especially around forced to vote. I wonder how you could still work for him. I wonder what kind of people still work for Ro Khanna. Do they just go home? Do they just close their eyes and ears all day? Or are they just shit libs yeah. now? Are they just fucking regular yeah. Hillary Clinton, Joe Biden voters, and they don't give a fuck? What are you going to not work for him? What I know. Gonna... What are you going to do? Not work for him? <laughs> Here's what uh, Aaron Mate said. He said, Ro Khanna deleted his Macau. Oh, by the way, he, retre- he deleted that. So he knew that he knew this was wrong. He knew that was wrong, and he did it anyway. And he deleted it. Aaron Mate says, Ro Khanna deleted his McCarthyite innuendo, but that's not enough. An apology is in order. If you're going to call yourself progressive while abandoning prior stances to support a proxy war in Ukraine and asking taxpayers to foot the bill, don't smear those who challenge you on it. I'm surprised he didn't accuse Max of sexual harassment to get out of this. Yeah, why didn't, why didn't he just say Max tried to give him a hand job? Here's what Max says. Uh, he says, Ro Neo Kana, which was very nice. Nice. That's a nice twist. Come on, Kurt. I'm for it. Yeah. Can't believe you didn't think of it. Ro, <laughs> Ro Neo Kana. I like Ro, I like Ro Con Man. That's what I like. <laughs> Ro Neo Khanna has gone from a lone opponent of arming neo Nazis incorporated into the Ukrainian military to their most shameless, progressive sales rep on Capitol Hill. No amount of bogus McCarthyite innuendo can deflect from his shameless sellout to the Beltway war machine. So now you know Ro Khanna is a politician like all politicians. In fact, he's a little worse because he pretends to be a little better. I like the guys who let you know they're a piece of shit. <laughs> I mean, those are the ones who offend me less. Not that I like them. <laughs> the people who, uh, like Ro Khanna, who virtue signal constantly, and then fucking McCarthyite smear whenever it suits them, while lying to people about a war, uh, is about as bad as it gets. He's a garbage politician. Uh, months after divesting, Ro Khanna's spouse keeps trading fossil fuel and defense stocks. What the <laughs> fuck? Freedom isn't free, Jim. Uh, Jim. <laughs> Cotta's most recent financial transaction filing show Jan- January trades in Phillips 66, General Dynamics, and more. That's from the stock ticker. And now you know the rest of the story. Do you want to see how Ro, how Ro Khanna should have answered those questions? By the way, Ro Khanna never stopped walking. So that's the first sign the guy's lying. He won't stop walking as you're asking him. Reporters asking him questions. Here's a guy. He's a, here's a guy. He's Now, this guy's supposed to be a right-wing nut job. That's what they tell me on MSNBC and CNN. He's supposed to be a right-wing nut job. That's what the Young Turks will tell you. But look at he stopped walking and actually answered a a journalist questions, and he he's saying what I I would have thought Rokana would have said. Oh wait, what's... you have you have a thing right behind you on the side for some reason. Yeah. Oh, it's it's, it's this is an Aaron. I don't know why this is here, but it, it's Aaron Mate. He says you once criticized the U.S. for being complicit in backing neo Nazis in Ukraine. Today you advocate flooding Ukraine with weapons to use Ukrainians as cannon fodder for a suicidal proxy war against Russia. And like a good neo McCarthyite. You invoke RT to smear any dissenters. Yes. So if you go against this war, guys like Ro Khanna are going to smear you as a Russian. They're not going to engage your ideas. They're just going to smear you as a Russian because that's the kind of pussy and garbage person that Ro Khanna is. Um, I actually am part Russian, but I prefer to be called part freedom. <laughs> 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 Here's what Thomas Massey said. I played. So there's the virtue virtue signaling kind of sanctions that Biden and some private companies have undertaken, and then there are the crippling sanctions. Okay, but who are they crippling? They're not crippling Putin per se. He'll find a market for his oil. They're crippling the people uh, here in this country. First of all, we're going to see higher prices. The low income people are being pinched the most by inflation. We've got gasoline. So now we so that we can have this war in Ukraine. 
for financial interest for the military industrial complex and for a gas pipeline, uh, we're going to have to pay higher prices, higher price. We're going to have to we're going to have to pay for it. Every person in the United States, higher gas prices, higher everything prices. So we're financing a propaganda thing, a war. We're financing a war for profits <laughs> for the military industrial complex and for the fossil fuel industry. That's what this is, again. Well, don't Ro Khanna's wife made some money, too. Ro Khanna's <laughs> wife made some money. Good for her. It's about to go to five dollars a gallon at the pump, and that's it's not going to stop there. So, uh, you know, and there are lots of other things we bring from Russia, like fertilizer over a billion dollars. Don't you know? Uh, try not putting a billion dollars of fertilizer on the fields in America this year, and see what that does to food prices and and supply chain issues. So. If you think all of these things through, there's two kinds of sanctions. The sanctions that would cripple Russia, but it would cripple us as well. It's kind of mutually assured sanctions, economic devastation. If he does, in fact, sanction Russia, we'll see higher energy prices. But look, there that's going to go into the global supply of oil. Somebody else is going to buy that. It may, in fact, end up here after it changes hands. It's not really going to reduce how much oil that Russia sells, at least not in the medium to long term. But what is your sense inside? So there you go. So there's a there's a guy who they tell me is a crazy right winger and not to be listened to or trusted, but he also uh, is telling you the truth right now about sanctions in Ukraine and Ro Khanna is gaslighting you at the speed of uh, war. So shame on Ro Khanna and... Uh, you know, there's a lot of people who won't tell the truth about him because they want him to come back on their show. Well, I don't give a shit if a guy like that ever comes on my show again. <laughs> I really don't give a shit. Uh, I'll, I, it's much more valuable to me to be able to tell the truth about a guy like that than it is to have a pretend friendship with him so he'll come on my show. So uh, fuck Ro Khanna and his pro-war garbage because he's a garbage person. <laughs> Hey, we've got more dates for our 2022 stand-up tour. We're going everywhere. We're going to Dallas, Houston, Florida. We're going to Omaha, Des Moines, Pittsburgh, Columbus, Ohio, and Los Angeles. Go to JimmyDoreComedy.com for a link for all the tickets for all our shows. Mm -hmm.